is great to see you here again. My name is Luc de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy. And in this video, we're going to talk about the standards for project management. We're looking at the project management principles. And in particular, we will talk about the fourth principle, focus on value. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button. And every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look at value. Value is in fact very important when we consider project management. We evaluate constantly or continually and adjust the project alignment to business objective and the intended benefits and value. We want to create value. We want to see that our project creates value and value is very important in project management. Project success is measured by the value it creates. Value can be realized during the execution of the project, at the end or after completion. It depends what type of project you have. Once you have, in fact, something completed that can be launched, that can be sold, you're already creating value. Now, these are different ways to do that. We can have it at the beginning of the project, uh, when even when we have a first sprint, we can have something that we can monetize. It can be at the end of the project or after complete completion of the project. When we look at value, it can be expressed in quantitative or qualitative terms. Value is not necessarily a financial approach. It can also be an outcome which improves the environment or something like that, which is sometimes difficult to express in financial parameters. The project theme has the function to focus on the outcomes of the project so that they can support the intended benefits that lead to creating value. The outcomes of the project are basically the elements that will give the benefits and the benefits lead to the value that the project will realize. When we look at the value, we have to evaluate progress and we have to adapt and maximize the expected value. Let's look at the different parameters or different elements related to value. First of all, we have the business case. The business case is, in many cases, the basis for a project. It's not always the case for a, pro uh, for a project. Now, when we look at it, the projects that are, in fact, done by companies to provide a service for you, that company that is doing the project they're working with an order letter. They're working with a statement of work describing the contractual terms of the work to be completed. It's not really a business case in these uh, cases. Now, when we look at the elements, uh, we uh, can have projects that will be initiated to deliver or modify a product or a service. Typically, we have services that or products that may exist. We want to modify them, but we can also have a project to create a product or a service. When we look at the business case, it can contain different informations. We can have information there related to return on investment, financial parameters. We have information about how this project supports the organizational strategy, elements about risk, and alternative approaches to address the needs that the project should fulfill. When we look at a business case, there are at least the following items that should be in it. First of all, what is the business need? Why do we want to do this project? What is the importance of it? What will be the support for the company? It also contains the project justification the justification of the project, identifying why this project is good for the company. There is a business strategy. Business strategy typically relates to the financial elements. But let's have a look at these three elements in more detail. Business need. What is the rationale for the project? Why do we have to initiate the project? And this part, the business need, will also be a part of the project charter. It will be integrated in the project charter. 
Why do we do this project? The business need also describes the main details about the goals and objectives that need to be attained. The reason why to do this project. What are the details about the goals? What are the objectives where we want to reach, where we want to go after completing the project? Now, when we look at the goals and objectives, they may be intended for the performing organization itself. It can be done for a client organization, for a partnership or a public welfare. It provides the team with the business drivers on how to create value. It is very important that the team understands the business need because during the project there may be changes, there may be issues that have to be resolved and the business need provides the environment, the boundaries of the project. What is important about this project? And the team should understand that in order to function effectively. There is also the project justification. Uh, when we look at the justification and the business needs, they are, of course, linked. The project justification, we find the reasons why the investment is worthwhile. What are the financial gains that we expect and what value is being created for the receiving organization? The project justification contains a cost-benefit analysis. We can use parameters like the net present value, the internal rate of return, the payback type, and other parameters, and the assumptions on which this is based. So we have to see how did we come to these calculations. We have an estimated cost, we have an estimated return after completion of the project. All these elements are important to understand. What is the expected return? but also how did we calculate this return because we have to verify later during the project execution if the conditions are still the same, yes or no. We look at the business strategy. The strategy is in fact necessary to follow the strategy of the organization and provide the reasons to initiate the project. The business decisions follow that strategy and also when you are working on a project, you have to understand the link between the business decisions, the project and the strategy. The needs being addressed within the business case relate to the strategic decisions on how to create value for the organization. We find this in the yearly financial plans, the pro forma statements, how the organization plans to increase their value, create new opportunities over the coming years. And these are based on the strategy. Where does the company want to go? And how will we do this? Some conclusions here. Well, we uh, need, uh, we look at the business needs, the project justification, the business strategy, and the benefits they intend to create. They provide the team with the necessary information to make informed decisions to meet or exceed the expected business value. It's important that the team knows about this, understand this thoroughly, otherwise they cannot make the right decisions. Outcomes should be described in clear terms. We talk about smart words, we avoid ambiguity, and we may address these periodically and adjust them during project execution. The value or outcome can be subjective and have a different meaning for other stakeholders. It's therefore important to balance the outcomes with the main focus on the customer perspective. All these elements are very important when we are talking about value. Value may have a different meaning for different people, so it's very important to consider this, to be clear about this, and focus on the perspective of the customer. So that was it in the video related to value. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next videos. Bye-bye.